So basically, Wuna, the brother mentioned, how can I learn the hadith from the Quran in order for me to debate? You see, you're from someone that actually deals with the non-believers, my brother, yeah? So how hard is it if you don't know anything, especially when they come to you with a question, and they're like, oh man, I was caught off guard, like, like, and you know, I know, I know the brothers come from a good place, by the way, yeah? They want to make a difference, and they want to debate against those that are cursing Allah and are cursing the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu But in reality, this is, needs to be dealt with and put in a, uh, you know, put forward to people with knowledge to deal with this. Correct? Yes. So please, so please answer this, Akhi, please. So when it comes to debating, you have to understand there's a Christian way of doing things and there's an Islamic way of doing things. Me personally, I don't believe in debating because the only when it comes to debating, this is a Christian way of propagating the message. What we do is do da'wah, which is inviting people to Islam. Nam. There's no debating in mm. that word da'wah. Nam. It's invitation to Islam. So when you're talking to the person and it's not an invitation, Nam. you're yelling at them, you're cursing at them, this is not da'wah. Nam. Okay, so I want to make sure that's extremely mm. clear. So okay. people who are debating and yelling at one another, this is not da'wah. Right? I told them you don't have to prove nothing to them. And obviously... As Muslims, we hold the one truth. So since we have the truth on our side, we don't need to argue and do all this stuff with them. We simply warn them of the truth. If they decide to accept it, they can. If they decide to disregard the truth, Allah is going to question them on the day of judgment. We are simply warners of the truth. Okay? So another thing too, obviously, educate yourself. You know, obviously, we have the mashaq, we have the scholars. You learn from them and learn, obviously, the right way from the no. church scholars. No. Um, and when it comes to propagating the message of Islam, I highly recommend people to obviously read the translation, the tafsir of the entire Quran and understand the stories of the prophets, Allah starting Allah. with Adam Islam, and then ending with our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wasallam. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. So this is something that I highly recommend. And just remember, our job is to invite people to Islam. And anyone who curses Allah or the Prophet of Allah, you have no business speaking to those individuals. Facts. Because they're not here to accept the truth. So any person that does that to curse Allah and the Prophet of Allah, if you continue speaking to them, it's going to get worse. It, according to me, you're one of them. So I, I personally, I, I don't discuss with people who curse <laughs> Allah and the Prophet of Allah. No. And I believe in the Quran, it says as well, that people who do curse Allah and the Prophet of Allah, if they don't change the conversation, you cannot have, you cannot have discussions with them. Yeah. May Allah bless you. No, did you hear that? Yeah? He's from America.